Hello, welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's episode, we're continuing our discussion around Rosemount's 3408 non-contacting radar level transmitter. In the last episode, we started comparing FMCW radar with ultrasonic technology. We talked about why we don't see a need for ultrasonic level transmitters in going forward. Today, we're gonna to continue that with three more reasons why FMCW radars provide superior and better measurements in all applications. Number four on the list is going to be configuration and troubleshooting options. This is a big one in my opinion. When it comes to ultrasonic level transmitters, the options are quite limited. In fact, I took a screenshot there. It's a little hard for you to see, but that's basically the gist of configuring and troubleshooting an ultrasonic transmitter from our previously discontinued 3101. Okay, so a very limited number of options. You basically set it and forget it and hope you don't have any issues. When it comes to FMCW radar technology, there are plethora of options available. So what you can see displayed beside me is a snippet of our echo curve in Radar Master Plus software, which is a free software, very easy and intuitive to use. If you want to learn more about that, I've got a whole series of videos and webinars on that, but it provides a lens through which you can see through the eyes of the FMCW radar. You can you know, echo, uh, hide out unwanted echoes, and you can filter out various things. Additionally, Bluetooth connections are available on some of our new radars, which improves connecting and ease of use with the device. And last but not least, onboard memory. A historian to go back in time and see what the radar was seeing. Chances are if you ever have an issue with a radar or any instrument, it's in the middle of the night or a long weekend. So it's nice to be able to go back and see what happened when you weren't there. Really, really helps for troubleshooting. The next point is going to be the measuring range and the accuracy. So on ultrasonic level transmitters, depending on where you got it from, 39 feet, 50 feet, maybe is the maximum measuring range and 0.25% accuracy. So at the maximum range, you're talking plus or minus one and a quarter inches, which is not bad for some applications, but is not great for others. If we look at our FMCW radar level technology, the 5408, which is going to be our premium tier non-contacting radar, can actually measure up to 492 feet um, and under, uh, 39 feet range if we compare it we actually have a plus or minus 0.08 inch um, accuracy so a huge improvement in accuracy we've been talking about the 3408 that can measure up to 98 feet and then uh, the 1208 as well as a slightly reduced range but depending on your application we can select the right radar the point to make here is a much wider and longer distances can be measured with fmcw radars last but not least is cost a primary reason to use ultrasonic level transmitters is it is a cost-effective solution for very simple applications found in water, wastewater applications, utilities processes. But with the evolution of FMCW transmitters and radar on a chip technology, we now have cost-effective radar solutions. So that 1208 non-contacting radar, which also came out this year, is a very cost-effective solution. So when you pair all the benefits of FMCW radars, there is really no need to consider ultrasonic sonic level transmitters going forward. Should you have any questions about Rosemount's non-contacting radars or any other of our products, please reach out to us using the QR code on screen. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.